Okay. Because I'm, I'm not able to um, see you. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining these uh, webinars. Today, uh, we are going to explore the secrets of uh, wisdom together. And this is going to be an interactive section, a two-way knowledge exchange. And now at the moment is a small group. So it, is, it, would, be, it would be great because uh, we can have uh, more interactions. So uh, before um, the section, I would like you to prepare the paper and pen on hand for today. Because I um, have uh, some exercise and um, need uh, the pens and pencils, uh, uh, paper and pens. But first, I'd love uh, to get to know you all a little bit better. Could you please introduce yourself in the chat box? Uh, where are you come from and what are your interests? You can list uh, the top three. Yeah, can you can you read it for me because I'm not able to see the chat box right now. Uh, they're still writing, but as soon as something pops up, I will let you know. OK, thank you. Is it? Anything oh, uh, in the welcome, chat? Welcome, Isabel. OK, so Maggie says uh, she's from Hong Kong and she's interested in yoga, water sports and traveling. OK. No. Nah. Uh, please make sure you have muted your microphones, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, any others? Um, our Greek participants are writing. They probably have a lot of interest from what I gather. <laughs> OK, give, give 30 more seconds. Angelus from Athens says he's interested in coaching. Okay. <laughs> Wisdom and doing it his way. Okay. Uh, Manolis is also from Athens. He's an executive and team coach, adult trainer, and with an engineering background. And he's interested in photography, traveling, and marine tradition. Hmm. Oh. You weren't expecting something so specific. OK, thank you. So uh, if uh, you haven't finished uh, or newcomer, uh, you can write your where you come from and your top inches. And um, OK, I want to say um, why I um, use this topic, because uh, since I was a child, I, I've uh, always wanted to be a wise person. I'm not so sure everyone is uh, the same as me or not, but throughout my life, I've ex explored many different uh, ex aspects. To me, wisdom is about knowledge and experiences. So that's the reason I'm a knowledge hunger and eager to learn as much as I can. However, the more I've explored, the more I've realized how much I still have to learn. Never end uh, lifelong learning. Honest speaking, the more I know, the more I understand just now how little I truly knew. So many years ago, I have a um, conclusion. I'm even smaller than a stand. So for today's the agenda, 
uh, I just uh, will cover uh, three areas because um, um, time limit just only one hour. But um, these are three main areas. The first part will share the insight from my cultural and national uh, wisdom. So I, uh, the background is Hong Kong. And the second part, um, I also will discuss about um, explore our unique intelligence. Of course, uh, for these sections, um, the, um, everything we learn, uh, uh, we will have the applications. So um, for those who are not a coaches yet, we will discuss how we can apply this uh, principle to our daily life as well. So um, let's go to this uh, uh, wisdom journey. But I want to highlight uh, one thing. Today I share my coaching wisdom, but uh, your takeaway would be start to find your own secret of a, um, um, wisdom. So before I um, start the wisdom sharing, um, I want to share who am I. From my coaching and coaching supervision philosophy, I have the three key principles. The most important of these principles is ethical. Nothing can compromise this standard. The second principle is who you are is how you coach. If you are not a coach, the same principle can apply. Who you are is how you manage, how you behave. So allow me to share a little bit background about myself. Before becoming a professional coach, from my professional life and personal life, I want to share a little bit, uh, maybe fun facts. My, um, I had a uh, background in HR. Uh, my journey into coaching began when I worked as a leadership development uh, analyst at Bank of America Merrill Lynch. And then I transitioned into a role as a HR partner. Through my uh, career, basically, I work uh, most uh, uh, organization is um, Fortune 100 to Fortune 500 in different uh, industry. But after um, 16 years um, HR uh, experience, I want to transition into a coaching co um, professional coach. And coaching seat actually is uh, from when I work as a um, uh, leadership development in different um, leadership programs. I was honored um, to become the first Chinese person in the world to achieve MCC and MP credentials, as well as uh, recently I got the coaching supervision credential and team coaching. I already have um, coach or facilitate coaching uh, program more than 5,000 hours with um, 39 nations. I'm a member of the task force for the professional, um, uh, for the PCC marker at the, uh, in 2024. For my personal life, um, just share, I come from Hong Kong, I'm a Hong Kong Chinese. And also I have a um, ton of uh, hobbies. Basically, uh, I love, um, traveling, I love hiking, I love um, biking, I love uh, scuba diving. And uh, for hiking and biking, basically I already reached altitudes of over 5,000 meters. And um, I also hold the scuba diving assistant instructor license. And um, I, I want to say, um, basically I'm, I always feel I'm always alone because I studied primary school when I was 4.5 years old. So um, it doesn't matter because um, I have a passion, especially one of hobby, I have a passion for creativity. So for the last uh, two years, I pursue a full-time journalism program and major in photography in Canada. And my leadership journey began in my church community. Since I was 15, I'm leading a group, I'm a church choir. I share this aspect of my life not to show off my achievements because my life is full of up and down. I'm very optimistic, but I also have the depression moments. And from time to time, I always feel hopeless and uncertain. And just to share with um, the organizer, procrastination is my best friend recently. I want to encourage you to think about who you are. At least um, this thing is just a little bit of myself. But when you understand more about yourself, 
basically you 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 will explore your own wisdom because the wisdom often arise from various form of intelligence like uh, emotional intelligence intelligence uh, intelligence iq eq adversity intelligence aq spiritual intelligence sq social intelligence si and relational uh, intelligence all these intelligence uh, belongs to you but how you make use of it uh, in your coaching or maybe in your leaderships this is very important so i want to ask you one thing um i share a a bit detail about myself, but um, actually it is related to my first secret of wisdom. Why wisdom are you on? Huh? Hello? What? Sorry. Okay. okay. Um, I, I share um, uh, myself because it is related to my first uh, secret of uh, wisdom. It's from my cultural or national wisdom. Okay, may I ask a quick question? When you think about Chinese culture, what comes to mind? Please feel free to share your thoughts in the chat box. Anything? Uh, they're writing right now. Okay. Uh, Maria says unity. She thinks of unity. Okay. Yeah. And Manolis thinks of self-control. Angelo thinks of ancient wisdom. Okay. Thank you. And um, I did a uh, statistic around in Canada and some friends of mine, they said uh, Kung Fu is the most uh, popular impressions <clears throat> for Chinese culture. And actually, um, Chinese culture with more than 5,000 years of history is rich with um, philosoph philosophical uh, wisdoms, much like Greek uh, culture. In my coaching and coaching supervisions, I often use a Taoist philosophy and Chinese oracle, which I will share for today a little bit. And um, Chinese oracle means a Chinese, uh, ch uh, traditional Chinese uh, character, not simplified Chinese characters. Today, I want to uh, share the first uh, wisdom is um, yin yang theory. Anyone uh, heard yin yang theory before? Yes, no? Okay, and um, I, I share a little bit a uh, concept uh, for yin yang theory. The yin yang theory is a fundamental concept in Chinese philosophy and culture. This is a paradoxical theory, and um, I show you something. Okay, actually, yin yang is uh, focusing on balance. So uh, when you see the middle of um, the circle, uh, the Right hand side in represent darkness, passivity, and the feminines, while yen represent light, activity, and the masculine. So um, you can see when yen uh, is the sun and then yin is moon, when yen is summer and yin is winter, and yen is day and yen and yin is the night. So um, you can see. Uh, two belief system that appear to be oppositional or contradictionary, but they are complementing each other. Actually, Tao Yong extensively study when developing his uh, own theory. And I want to ask you, maybe give you an example and ideas what I'm talking about. Tough love. Uh, on the surface, toughness and love may seem contradictory, right? For instance, um, consider a situation where a child loves candy. If a parent let the child's love for candy without any setting boundary, do you think it is love? No, right? This is um, the, the, the child will be no teeth in the future. So the yin-yang theory teaches us that balance is very important. One without the others is incomplete. So uh, in coaching, understanding the balance between yin and yang can help me navigate the complexity of, the, uh, of my client's life. Uh, maybe I use another um, leadership um, tables for you. 
but I before that I want to do a one exercise because the yin yang is a um, like left and right. So um, I want you to use the paper. I give you one minute. Uh, first, I want you to write it down as much as you can. Uh, what you proud of? What is your strength? Okay, now I count it down. I count one minute. Write down your, what you proud of. What is your strength? Write down as much as you can. One minute. Thank you. Thank you. If you a coach, think about uh, what you proud of, what is your strength to do your coaching? Write down on your papers. Anyone? No. As much as you can. Okay. Okay, one minute stop. So the other oppositional um, side is write down where you find you have to improve all your weaknesses. One minute again. Okay, stop it. I want you to look at your exercise, the strength and weaknesses, and highlight which top three you are really proud of, and top three you really want to, maybe top one to three, is it okay? You really want to improve in 2024. And just mark it down. And then continue to share my screen. And then I want to use um, um, this uh, leadership um, self to let you understand why yin yang will influence my coaching practice. If you look at this box, uh, the left side, the XX is a self acceptance. The Y X is a self improvement. If uh, I, I'm, of course, this is example. Um, you don't need to be ten. Uh, everything is ten or, or or top scales because um, for Yin Yang theory, balance is the most important. If uh, you have a very high self acceptance and very high self improvement from this box, you can see this person have a healthy self esteem. So if uh, what uh, you can imagine, what an advantage if the person has a high self acceptance and house high, uh, health, high self improvement, means they uh, see things very healthy. They will not see um, negativity. Maybe this person are quite optimistic and very positive. But say for example, in case if uh, they are um, they have the tendency or out of the balance, either they will self critical or they will very defensive.
that is um, very unhealthy. But why this uh, tendency will happen, of course, normally will under stress, they will feel uh, I'm not good enough. And no matter what I do, I'm not good enough. I have to, I have to improve myself. I need to learn everything in the world. Maybe I need to study PhD uh, to be the top, top student in, 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 in the university. That's self-critical always um, you will see from different people, even they are very senior and they are very successful um, in their career. But on the other hand, I want to highlight the balance deficiency on the left bottom. It mentioned that internally contradicted. So if the person is a lower self-acceptance and lower self-improvement, uh, what it will trigger it means that the tendency, they feel they are nobody. No matter they do, um, nobody appreciate. They don't want to do anything. And in fact, in these um, few years, I noticed a lot of uh, young generations sometimes in this balance deficiency. So in case if uh, you use a yin yang theory to understand the person, I'm not saying that are uh, labeling. Or oh, if um, the client is a very self as a healthy self esteem, I uh, don't need coaching. This is okay. But uh, I just want to find the clients are very self critical. No, I'm not saying that. But you will feel, you will see everything have a yin yang. So people have a strength and weaknesses. And as a coach, how we can notice and observe their hot bottom. Where, where is the trigger to let them um, maybe feel not good enough? Yeah, so this is a very important. And if um, I want to say, if uh, you pay attention to these uh, videos, the Tai Chi videos, I want you to pay attention and share your observations um, on the chat box. What did you notice from this small movement? Anything, Ellie? Uh, no, someone is writing those. Give me a okay. second. Yeah, Ellie, you, you also can share. What did you notice? This is a small movement. Or well, Angelos. Mm, okay, we have Isabel who says that eyesight uh, is directed to one place, goes to one direction. Mm. Uh, Mai says upper body moves while lower body is stable. Yes. Yes. Manoli says he has focused eyes and the hands are the ones moving. And Maggie says they do open and close movements. Okay. Yeah, basically Tai Chi's uh, movement are, uh, were very, very subtle and small. But um, the Kung Fu movie also showed that this is a subtle movement can have a powerful impact. So from yin yang perspective, Tai Chi and body is both softness and hardness. Learning Tai Chi, um, I heard from many masters, they can spend their whole life practice and study the art. And as a beginner, because my mom uh, learned Tai Chi more than 15 years, she shared with me, uh, the master asked uh, all the beginner to learn the footwork. If you see the footwork in the video, you can see basically it didn't move a lot. But the footwork my mom shared with me, they always um, spend three to five years to repeat the practice. So you may see um, this is very boring because uh, it didn't move a lot, didn't have a, a lot of impact. But this is the foundations to make us strong and solid through this uh, boring practice. So now let's uh, relate it to a uh, coaching. If you are a coach or not, Think about what is your footwork, means what is the core foundations if you do uh, your coaching or you do your management or you do your work or even your normal daily life. What is your foundation? Think about that.
And to me, basically, I want to use the wisdom to share my food work. My food work stands for wisdom. W stands for well-being. Uh, as a professional coach, our body is a container. This is the foundation to have a very good status and uh, to have a rapport and presence with the clients. So physically, emotionally, psychologically, mentally, I have to be healthy. So if I'm not healthy, I'm not able to reach the healthy self-esteem. So I'm not able to um, see things, have an empty mind. Maybe I will have a um, judgmental mindset. So well-being is the first thing I have to keep my container in a good status. And then I stand for institute, uh, uh, um, in, um, how to say, guts. Yes, so, uh, because um, if uh, we don't trust our guts, we just use our right brain and uh, left brain, it is um, impossible because our head has a right brain and left brain. So sometimes we need to use logical thinking, but sometimes, especially building trust, we need to use an emotional trust. How you use us and have a sensing to to use um, this uh, intelligence, that is EQ, IQ, AQ, I just mentioned. The second and uh, the third one, S, S stand for me is a self-awareness. Actually, uh, the coaching benefit uh, to, uh, when we promote coaching benefit, we always uh, say after coaching, we always can have a increase our self-awareness. But as a coach or as a human being, if uh, we don't know who we are, how we can, um, maybe achieve our goal or say, for example, I'm a coach, I already have a vision. I want to share my hope or share my joy to my clients so they can see hope and joy and energy even they are in the darkness um, moment. So for D, D is development. I just say I'm knowledge hunger. So basically I need to know where I should develop the world has so many knowledge and wisdom. I'm not able to, and even have no time to understand and learn everything. But as a coach, what I need to focus, say for example, nowadays I'm quite interested uh, for coaching supervision. I will read more coaching supervision. And, even, and, and, and also at the same time, I'm, I also want to help people to find their vision and mission in life. So I'm reading different um, uh, calling support. And then the, la uh, the last two years, all, all is open mind explorations. For coaching, or even you are not a coach, if uh, you, when you are, uh, have a communication or interaction with other people, if uh, you are not open mind, you are brought your ears and or hearing, uh, you are not able to explore the other people. If I do remember, I just share myself. I have a different part of a um, um, piece of um, piece of um, a small piece of myself. So if I can connect everything, this is who am I. So same in the coaching um, conversations, we need to find the clients um, piece by piece. We are even the client doesn't know who they are. No one can know everything about ourselves. So let's open my exploration together. And then the last one is mindfulness and reflections. That is uh, one of the very important thing. And today's uh, nowadays, especially in 2024, I set a, a habit. I do reflection every day. So I note um, what I sense, what I observe, and do more reflections, do more mindfulness can clear your mind. And empty mind as a coach is very important. So um, these elements from um, for me can build my footwork. So when I go into the coaching sessions, basically because of these five or uh, six words, I have a strong uh, presence. And the other thing I want to share uh, under development, I know as a coach, presence is the most important thing, uh, not most one of the key important competence. So back to 2011, I already practiced, practiced mindfulness and um, quiet 
and and uh, so nowadays I even don't need to practice anything. I can go into the coaching session with press presses. But at the very beginnings, I even cannot close my eyes, listen, and just breathing for one minute. I feel so difficult for me because um, many people told me I have ADHD. So, um, the second secret I want to share is the Chinese oracle. I, I already shared this uh, uh, oracle for, for many different uh, events, uh, but because uh, you are from Greek, maybe you are the first time to, to know the Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese character. This Chinese uh, oracle means listening or hear. But from this oracle, why I feel this is um, the second secret for my coaching wisdom, because if, if I, do, I look at the oracle, I can know the left uh, top, the left side is a ear. Of course, when you listen people, you need to use ear to listen or to hear. But if uh, you don't respect people, you are not able to listen. Okay, from, the, from my left side, if I uh, listen with my ear, I respect, it doesn't fulfill listening from this Chinese oracle. You need to use your eyes to observe. From this uh, uh, oracle, you can see there is a cross. The cross in Chinese is a number 10. So we need to use 10 eyes and heart. In the middle, um, in the middle, there is a one. That is Chinese uh, number one. So means uh, on the right side, we need to use 10 eyes to observe, one heart to focus. So that, that Chinese oracle always can give me some insight and wisdom. Okay, I don't, when I learned coaching, I really don't know how to be a good active listener. So when I see this Chinese oracle, oh, I know listening in um, dictionary, Cambridge dictionary, is just say you need to uh, be present to listen. But from this Chinese oracle, I can easily to understand if I just use eyes and uh, I, I have to use all my five senses and respect, and then I can listen. So um, for this, um, so, so at the end, this Chinese character can help me improve my active listening skill. If the, your listening skill improved, you can have a, uh, improve your powerful uh, questioning and also um, the direct communications. So until now, do you have any questions about these two secrets? One is um, from my cultural wisdom. The other one is uh, very easy from my Chinese character. This is my culture. From uh, Greek, um, because uh, your history is very rich as well. So what is the cultural or um, national wisdom from Greek or from your na um, na uh, nations or cities? Or what, like um, I, I search at Google, uh, Greek also have a something similar as my Chinese uh, oracle. Maybe you also can make use of um, this handy uh, easy, but you already know it very well, but maybe ignore or do not know where they come from. Yeah. The third secret of my coaching wisdom is from my nature, is from nature. This picture, basically, I took from a eight days retreat camp. And I want to have a, uh, I, I regularly will go to retreat camp because I want to uh, understand what is the next, uh, what is the, the past, and then how I can improve. Same as the exercise, actually. But suddenly, when I return to my room, I see, I think that is a lizard. So, but this lizard is very interesting to me because um, why this lizard has two color. At that moment, um, I don't know, what is it? And the other thing is, um, I, I don't like this kind of um, pets because I like a fluffy animal or ocean animal. I like, I like nature, but not this kind of um, uh, animal. But after these pictures, I find um, this is amazing. All the nature can teach me wisdom. 
because um, um, if uh, you remember I uh, my staff introduction, I have uh, many hobbies, and one of my hobbies is photography. So so basically, uh, because I I really don't know what is it, but I hold my camera and I hold forty five minutes because I find it changed the color, and and also I I took a picture. I feel very interesting why they change the color without any enemy. And, and then at the end, I do some reflection. This is my own answer. Oh, all animal will set the boundary to taking a nap. If you see these three pictures, I, I, I interpret, oh, I'm very sleepy. And then the middle one, he it is a yawning. And then close their eyes and sleep. And after taking a short nap, he cha it changed back the original color. I feel this for 45 minutes are amazing. But what I want to introduce this uh, third uh, secret of my coaching uh, wisdom is, do you remember I asked you to list your strength? Find out what is uh, you proud of. Maybe photography is your um, thing you are, you are proud of or you are interested. If um if you are interested for, for photography, I remember one, and uh, how you use uh, the lens to see the world. When I studied these two years uh, photography uh, journalism program, I used uh, the professional camera, and I I realized why is different. When I see the world from my eyes, is completely different from when I hold a camera through the lens and see the world. And then I see, oh, I have a lot of bright spot. Okay, where I can maybe eliminate. Maybe I use a different perspective, or maybe I invite friends uh, to um, let me know, give me a feedback. No matter that is a constructive feedback or destructive feedback, feedback is good, but you need to have a discernment to understand um, how to digest. You are not able to accept everything. You need to have your judge. But feedback is like the bonus people give you. Nowadays, not many people give you feedback. So, so think about from your passionate interest. Like uh, I remember Maggie say she loved yogurt. So how you use a yogurt to do your professional career? Maybe Maggie will be a coach in the future. Uh, how yoga can apply to your coaching practice. So uh, actually, um, I believe wisdom can be found everywhere around us, whether we observe or not, or we have time to observe. And I, I can share with you, um, Hong Kong is a very busy hustle and bustle city. So everyone is very busy. When I, when I uh, work in Hong Kong, I find Basically, I never see the sun. When before the sun rise, I already on the way to, to the office. Uh, sunset, I, I'm still in the office. So I never see uh, the sun during the weekday. But when I um, take the career break, I just realized in my residential areas, so many birds singing. Why I never heard any voice from the bird in the past? So think about how maybe somewhere can um, from the animal, from the nature can teach you some wisdom. On the other hand, how you build your observation. If uh, you have a strong observation, it helps your communication, it helps your presence, it helps you ask the questions. Okay, and then um, now it's move, um, have a time, 15 minutes, and move on the last part, applications. So after learning about these uh, three secrets of uh, wisdom from cultural or national wisdom, the traditional characters and uh, nature or animals, this is time to apply this uh, insight to your life. Take a moment to reflect on what resonates with you the most and think about how you can implement this insight into your daily routine. I have a three questions. 
I want you to, um, especially the first one, because um, I said this is a two ways and not just me to sharing my cultural. I also want to learn from you all. What do you think about your cultural or national wisdom? And we can learn from you. Oh, you can raise hands if you want or write in the chat box. Yes, thank you. Yeah, what your own cultural or national wisdom you feel we can learn from you? So Manoli says uh, uh, that from our national culture, we can get the concepts of ethos, pathos, logos from uh, Aristotle. Wow. Um, and Man my Man Man Manoli, you can you can host a section to teach me. <laughs> I find the world is collaborative. Not everything is that you need. Everything is uniqueness, but not just only me is the best. How we collaborate is our coaching community's uh, benefit. Isabel says that also the concept of, of eudaimonia, eudaimonia. Wow. Have you heard of that? No, it basically everything you all uh, they share. I never, I never learn except Maggie. I know be water. This is what I learned. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, be water. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, Isabel says that eudaimonia is the Greek version of well-being. Eudaimonia. You means good, and demonia <laughs> means spirit. So good spirit. Oh. Uh, and Angelo says Apollonian and Dionysian aspects of self and life. So the ancient mm -hmm. Greek gods and the way we celebrate them. Euphoria. Mm -hmm. Angelos, maybe you host a uh, section about Greek wisdom. I will attend. <laughs> OK, I saw one. My mom is from uh, Vietnam, Vietnamese. I sprung to remind you to be humble. Yeah. See, even even today, uh, not many people joined, maybe because uh, still working in the office, but just a small group, we already have a different wisdom from our own culture. So how I, I want to ask uh, a question. If uh, you are a coach, how we can collaborate and connect to other cultures and co-create a culture that people know uh, coaching gives us a wisdom, not just coaching, including coach. How to learn something new and use a different perspective. Like I just mentioned, when I hold a professional camera, see the thing is different, but at the same time, I use the eyes to see the same thing. I don't know why, but that is very funny. So I want to back to my slide. Uh, just a moment. OK. Uh, the second question um, you don't need to share is also the same. What aspect of your own cultural or national wisdom resonate with you the most and impact you or influence you? And think about how to use this, your unique wisdom the question one yeah you can think about that and then the second question is what can you incorporate today i share the yin yang theory into um and how it can imply uh, apply to your personal or professional life 
because the yin yang is a paradoxical theory, very contradictory, but one without the other is incomplete. So maybe you are very strong in somewhere, but very weak in the other area. But it seems that is the circle. So for my coaching practice uh, or my journey, because I had a depression in my life, I always can notice the people stuck shy and, or shadow. So everyone focusing on success, but somehow I always uh, easily to observe and notice the shadow or dark side. And then that is maybe the client's uh, bright spot or the hot button and then starting the coaching conversation maybe, or my observation. Yeah. So because uh, we, we don't have uh, much time, nine minutes. So I want to uh, ask, uh, I want to share the screen first. Uh, any, uh, that is a Q and A section. Any questions to me? Uh, Maria had the question before. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, go, go ahead, Eleni. Please. Uh, there was a question in the chat box before. Uh, Maria asks, in everyday life, how can we remember to see the world from the professional camera lenses uh, and from our perspective? And, and not from our perspective, I'm sorry. So how okay. do we treat reality as professionals? Yeah, this is, um, Maria is a coach or not? She's a coach. I don't know if she can unmute herself, but she she's training to be a coach or she she has already gotten her certificate. Oh, she is a coach. OK, yeah. If um, if um, basically why I ask uh, whether you are a coach or not, because um, basically everyone has a bias, honest speaking, because uh, from our background, maybe I come from Chinese uh, culture. So I already learned something. Maybe I always wear the gray or red color glasses. So, so I feel oh, that is very common. But until one day when you have an aha moment, oh, I can see things differently. So we realize maybe we can change the different color of glasses. But why I mentioned uh, mindfulness reflections are important to me, because um, um, one thing is as a coach, I say as a coach, I'm a, just a container. So how I can release all everything. I have an empty container and then go into the client section. So, so when I have an empty mind, more practice, I know how to change the lens naturally. Yeah, this, this is my personal experience. Yeah, because uh, honest speaking, if uh, you use a physical glasses, you know, oh, I'm I'm wearing gr uh, red glasses, I'm wearing uh, blue glasses. But how I can naturally to use different perspective, empty mind and presence are the key for me. Yeah. My, you, you have uh, something else, right? Yeah. But yeah, actually, uh, just to um, respond to what you said about uh, you um, tend to have a you look at your dark side, depression, blah blah blah. Plus your photography experience. I, I just want to share with you and uh, everybody here that when I was traveling in the north of India in Himalayan mountain, I saw this very big size saying, uh, "In life, you have uh, you need a negative." in bracket like camera to develop a good photo so back in the good old days when we don't use iphone to take camera we have to truly carefully use the negative film to develop a cam uh, good photos so for me it's really triggered me and um back in vietnam about 15 years ago people say oh you have to control negative thinking i said use it use it as a negative film to develop a real good photos. So yeah, that's what I want to share in uh, responding to what you share. Thank you very much. Yes, because um, the yin yang, because uh, Maggie also asked the question, uh, explore more a little bit yin yang theory, how to apply the professional life. Because um, everything has positive and negative, but if uh, you're just focusing on um, one side, it's not healthy. 
So, so like my just share, when you take a photos, basically you need to change the different uh, angle, different um, like uh, white balance and everything. Sometimes minus can help. Say for example, um, I use the tough love. Like uh, if uh, you you just uh, focusing on, I just give you feeding you. It doesn't mean it help the child. So how to balance is the very important. Yeah. And yin yang, how, how to apply to my uh, coaching uh, practice, as I said, everyone may be always focusing on the success. I will, don't know why, naturally can see people's uh, dark side and then how these people's balance, like, like, the, like the Tai Chi, you need to balance and then share my observations. Of course, um, whether they they want to change or, um, or do it differently, that is the person's um, uh, um, decisions. But when I share, or like I said, feedback to me, uh, I can improve. And then I can know what is the best at the moment, like what is the best to take the pictures. Any other questions? Okay, yeah. So the last four minutes, any takeaway from this? Oh, okay, Angelos. Yes, thank you. First, first of all, thank you very much, Stephanie, for sharing all this wisdom uh, today. I think it's there are a couple of points that you have made which are very important for me personally, at least, and it has to do with the beginner's mind. And we say that again and again, but it's not always very easy to understand what do we mean by beginner's mind. And to go back to your metaphor, using the uh, the metaphor, the case of the photograph uh, in nature, uh, I think it's a wonderful me metaphor because usually, as May said earlier, as she mentioned iPhone, and usually we use an iPhone or a mobile camera to focus on something which is happening we are something an activity something that is a live action that's happening in front of us that is very intentional which is as you said bias on how we uh, it, it, it creates a bias on what to observe but when you're pointing at nature which is in in her stillness and her vast stillness and at the same time uh, with so much information happening all the time. Uh, if you become aware of the intention that you have to, fall, to, to observe something in, in particular, or if you're just waiting there with an open mind, trying to find out what is happening that you were not expecting, and I think that will change the way that you are, the, your, your relationship. And that, and that sends me back to what you said earlier about um, learning an ear to listen better with 10 eyes and an open Thank heart, heart. Uh, focus out with respect. And I think respect here is the key. Respect about who is the other and what is happening out there that is uh, outside of us. Yes, so thank you very much, Stephanie. Thank you. And I also want to emphasize why uh, at the very beginning I asked you um, where co you come from and what is your interest, because that is the easier things to learn the wisdom, no matter coaching wisdom or your professional uh, life wisdom. And the other important thing that is um, the other thing is um, who you are is how you coach. Today's my sharing is my own experience. It doesn't mean uh, your wisdom is exactly the same as mine. You can your, have your maybe version two, version three. You can share with me. Yeah, so, so from today, uh, I want to maybe open your mind or heart. Ah, where can I find the secret of my own wisdom? And how to make use of maybe everywhere the nature, we always can see the sun and light. Yin yang, yin yang, basically, this is the maybe new term for Greek, but actually, um, this is quite common. So um, I want you to give me maybe feedback in the future, if um, not today, but I want you to write on the chat box, what, what is your takeaway for today?
and this is my contact. You can scan the QR code and connect to my LinkedIn. Okay, uh, on time. And actually, when I share who am I, I because of a different piece by piece um, uh, things, I already find my visions. My vision is I wish everyone has an iridescent life with hope, joy, and energy. That is the uh, what I want. And yeah, this is my vision and missions. Um, anything take away? Okay. Thank you, Eileen, Ellie, I pass over to you. I'm done. Thank you, the takeaways. Uh, yes, the yin yang chart, as Monoli says, was quite impressive. Thank you very, very much, Stephanie. Uh, thank you all for attending this first webinar of the series for the International Coaching Week. Uh, if anyone wants to uh, contact Stephanie with questions, mm -hmm. you can ask us and we can forward them or you can contact her directly as she asked. Um, we hope we'll see you in the following webinars, which I will link in a second. Mm -hmm. Mr. Angelos, our CEO, would you like to um, share something? A big thank you to Stephanie. Thank you very much. I think this was wonderful and a wonderful experience for us to look inside of us and how we ex are ex experiencing the world. Becoming intentional and aware of that is changing uh, how we relate and what we produce. Yes, hope to see you uh, in the next uh, International Coaching Week webinars. That uh, every webinar is free. Tomorrow I will be having personally. Uh, we'll be having a roundtable discussion with uh, Dr. Alison Hodge uh, on uh, the event of the book launch of my book about team coaching. And uh, so I uh, will be happy to see you tomorrow there. Hi, okay. Angela. Um, I, 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 I'm so sorry. I had to ask because I, I kind of get lost with all these uh, informations. Uh, like Stephanie, I had to uh, link in you today <laughs> for the link. So, um, what, uh, is that possible? Some you or Angelos, if somebody can send me that information uh, for team coaching uh, roundtable tomorrow. Yes, of I course. Think I got I got your details. I can message you. Right. Yes, you can. Eleni, can you send me my me the direct link for registration? For tomorrow would that be possible uh, just for the tomorrow's event okay yeah, yeah. sure yeah. yeah thank you so much thank you Thanks. thank you You're so welcome. much yeah even small groups i like the interaction bye bye yeah have a great bye bye, bye. Uh, thank you week. bye everyone